It was a landmark ruling that helped usher in the Me Too movement, and the decision to overturn it four years later came as a slap in the face to survivors of sexual violence. I got to say, it made me sick to my stomach. Um, I'm a sexual abuse survivor myself. Actor Ashley Judd, who was one of the first to speak out against the Hollywood mogul, said she was shocked by the court's decision. This today is an act of institutional betrayal. And our institutions betray survivors of male sexual violence. New York's top court found the initial trial had allowed unfair testimonies against Harvey Weinstein based on allegations that weren't part of the case and decided to overturn the producer's rape conviction, ordering a new trial and potentially requiring Weinstein's accusers to testify again. In a new trial, the same three um, people who complained that Harvey Weinstein sexually assaulted them um, would be called upon to testify again. And that is a very significant burden on these three women. Weinstein's lawyers, meanwhile, called the ruling a major victory and a great day for the United States. From our collective hundreds of years of experience, we knew that Harvey Weinstein did not get a fair trial. While Thursday's ruling scrapped for now Harvey Weinstein's 23-year sentence for rape, the former Hollywood producer will remain behind bars. He was convicted last year to 16 years in prison by a Los Angeles court in a separate rape trial.